For a few days, my coworkers and I stayed at the Pacific Monarch Hotel in Waikiki. I had two roommates, Tay and Luke. From the 25th floor, we had a pretty nice view. We all gathered together in another room and just sat there. Hamilton was playing in the background. I forced Tay to get Clash Royale, and I made him join my clan. Tay forced me to get Unison League. It's not my kind of game. I'll probably delete it in a week or two. Sorry. The down button on the 32nd floor needs to be fixed. This is my boss just going ham on the buttons. Here's a fun fact. My boss watches my videos now. Anyway, we were able to go down by pressing up. We cruised around and looked for a place to eat. Our destination changed multiple times because many restaurants were closed due to the Rona. We ended up going to Giovanni Pastrami, and for 12 bucks I ordered their barbecue chicken pizza, which was a lot smaller than I thought. After that, I snuck my Pokemon into a gym, and we went back to the hotel. We played Taboo, a fun party game where your teammates have to guess the word on your card. After that, I watched the others play drinking games. Quick shout out to my mom who came by and dropped off things I should have bring. At the end of the night, we decided that I'll sleep here, Tay will sleep here, and Luke will sleep on the couch that folds into a bed. The bathtub is also a good choice. It's a water bed. Blah. The next morning, we ate donuts that my mom brought. I bought myself swim shorts for 18 bucks, then we headed to the beach. We went to Morikami Udon, where I spent 7 bucks on curry udon. I spent 2 bucks at Mitsuwa Marketplace on a strawberry drink. From this other hotel room, we had a better view of the ocean. We visited the top floor, and on the very top, there is a pool. I didn't get any footage of the pool, but here's what it looks like. After that, Luke and I went around playing Pokemon Go. That's when I caught my first Rayquaza. But it's not as good as Luke's shiny Rayquaza. Ooh, shiny. After that, we gathered again at one of the rooms, and we were just vibing. My boss is absolutely captivated by my coronavirus rap. On that evening, we went to CBK. I got the Kung Pao spaghetti for 16 bucks. The chili peppers made me suffer. And that concludes day two. On the last day, I woke up to an amazing view and a shirtless Luke on the balcony. We just chilled inside the hotel until noon when we had to check out. My boss was kind enough to give me a ride home. I spent more in three days than I did in the past three months, probably. And that's all there is to see. Thanks for watching and stay unathletic.